Hey Pedro. We're getting started on our weekly shelter tour. We're gonna give everyone just a minute to join us. We are hanging out outside with Pedro and our volunteer Wendy. Pedro's doing his own thing. He has a mind of his own. Oh, look at him. He's so smart. So smart. So each week, we go through and we meet all of our adoptable dogs and puppies. And this week we are starting off with Pedro. He is our featured dog this week. He's a great boy. He's a little shepherd mix. Super smart. So I'm going to read off a little bit of his personality profile that is on our website. For all of our animals, you can find more information about on them about them on our website. We list their, of course, their age, their breed, all the basics, um, but we try to provide as much information about the personality as we can. So, hi, Pedro. You're too close, Pedro. You're doing your own thing, Pedro. <laughs> He's been up for adoption for a little while already, so we wanted to give him a little extra love. So we're going to meet Pedro and then we're going to go inside, show off our adoption board, our possum adoption board, and then we'll walk through and meet all of the, the dogs. We're not going to spend as much time on each dog because we don't have five hours, but we'll walk through and see who we have here. So Pedro is super affectionate. He's happy-go-lucky. He loves running, toys, going on walks belly rubs as you can see he loves his belly rubs he is used to having a doggy door at home he does really great with the house training when he has a doggy door a lot of times um, once dogs get to know your schedule <laughs> and your routine they don't have any accidents in the home it's just a matter of learning the routine so Pedro doesn't like other cat doesn't like cats excuse me um, and he does like to rough house with other dogs um, but sometimes he doesn't get along with all dogs. So if you have another dog in the home, we recommend you bring them to the shelter, see if they get along. Hi, right, he's so cute. He walks really nice on the leash. He does, he's very well behaved outside. He's a good jogging, you know, active buddy. Yeah, he's really, really great. Pedro, say hi to the people. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he's great and we shared a video of him on our YouTube page so if you're ever on YouTube check out our page and you can see a lot of videos of adoptable dogs on there he's cute well it's hot Pedro we're gonna go inside we're gonna see what else is going on okay thank you Wendy for helping us out okay. bye okay so we're gonna go inside now All right. that cutie's already adopted that one has a home <laughs> okay, so we're going to go inside. Oof. It's nice to have it. Um, I seem to get an Amber Alert notification in the middle of our live stream. But we are back. So here's our little adoption area. So here we go. Check it out, guys. This past week, we have found homes for 87 pets. That's super awesome. We really appreciate everyone coming out, visiting the shelter, and adopting a pet. Check it out. 43 cats found homes this week. It's not very often that we have more cats find homes than dogs. So that is very, very special. And then check it out. We have a few notables. Look at Milkshake, the English spot. Finally found a home. Available for adoption for four months. Crazy pants. Anyway, thank you guys for making this possible. We're going to update this board every Friday so you can see what we're up to. So we're going to go through now, meet all of our dogs. I've gone through our computer system, checked all the paperwork, and I've tried to find out. Oh, Boo Boo had an accident. <laughs> we're going to get somebody to clean up his little accident there. He actually has some orthopedic issues, so we can't take him out and walk him as much, so he just did a little poopsie in his kind of cleanup. Anyway, so this is Nikki. Nikki's nervous. She's super sweet, super smart. She's very nervous around new people, 
So of course here at the shelter, she's always seeing new people, so she just always looks nervous. But if you give her a chance, she's gonna love you. She's 10 months old. She's a shepherd mix, weighs 57 pounds. Hey. This guy, this is Pepper Jack. Pepper Jack is a nine month old Staffordshire Terrier mix. Hey, Pepper Jack. He is quiet. He loves cuddles and he's very affectionate. There you go. Sounds perfect. <laughs> he has a great smile, too. <laughs> he's very well behaved. This is Frankie. Hey, Frankie. Frankie just came in. <laughs> he didn't trust us at first. So he actually spent all of yesterday in our, in one of our director's offices, socializing and getting to get a little used to the shelter and the noise and all of the people. Um, so he spent time in Jessica's office yesterday and he did very well. He's getting to know us. Still a little wary, but he's doing good. Again, this is Frankie. He's a one-year-old hound or Labrador retriever mix. Super cute. Getting to know him. Taking things slow. This is Venus. Venus. Let's see here. Sorry about that. Venus is an 11 month old shepherd mix. She weighs 55 pounds. Hey Venus, I see you want to wear, wear, wear your tail. <laughs> Venus, <laughs> she's silly. She loves giving kisses. We have somebody walking by, sorry. <laughs> they get all excited. So Venus, she can't decide what she wants to do. She loves giving kisses. She loves rambunctious place sessions and belly rubs. And when she can't decide what she does, she tries to do all three at once. She gets a little confused. It's really cute. Adorable. This guy is Luffy. Luffy's a seven month old cattle dog terrier mix. Cute, weighs 43 pounds. Luffy, unfortunately, thinks that cats are toys. Well, that's not very good, Luffy. So no cats in his next home, but he is a social butterfly with people. So that's a good thing. Just no cats. You're cute. So cute. This is Gumbo. Gumbo is a one-year-old boxer retriever mix. He was found as a stray. And the fun fact about him is that he loved all the neighborhood kids and they all loved him. He got to meet everyone. He loves everyone. But they're like, you can't just live on the streets. So now we need to find a permanent home for him. Super cute. Again, that's Gumbo. Social butterfly. Let's see who we have here. Here. Our first little dog is Maggie Maggie. Maggie's a six month old retriever husky mix. She's super cute. Hey Maggie. She's been returned two times due to allergies. So we need to find a non-allergic home. I will love her forever. She gets along with cats and dogs. She's great. She's a great little dog. Gotta give her a chance. Bella. Bella's a four-year-old hound retriever. <laughs> Bella is 83 pounds. She's a lap dog. You're not a lap dog. I know. You want to be a lap dog. You're not a lap dog. <laughs> this is Valencia. Valencia has been here for a little while. She started off in our puppy palace and aged out, so she found herself in doggy domain now, looking for a home. She loves toys. 
She loves all of her toys, and often she can't figure out which one to play with first. So she, again, gets really confused and just tries to play with all of them at the same time. It's really hilarious. Hey, Valencia. She's cute. She's a five-month-old Staffordshire. Look at her stripes. She's gorgeous. <laughs> this is Isabel. Isabel is a six-and-a-half-year-old retriever, a Labrador Staffordshire mix. Isabel, hi. she's adorable. Fun fact about her is that she's so happy. She got happy tail. I don't know how many uh, people are familiar with happy tail. It's where they wag their tail so compulsively and it hits the side of the tail. And then they get a little, sore, a little sore on the tip of their tail. So we're keeping an eye on that. But she's so happy. She just can't control it. She's a good dog. I love her. Okay, here what else do we have? This is Caramello. Hi. Caramello is a four month old hound mix. Caramello, the fun fact about Caramello is that he gets along with cats and he can be very playful of cats when he's not afraid of them. Sometimes he's scared of cats, but when he's not scared of cats, he thinks of his friend and he's a good boy. <laughs> he's cute. I think that baby is the one that's getting looked at right now. This is Zoe. Zoe, as you can see, loves toys. Zoe was adopted and then returned after a little while. She chews on everything. She needs toys. Needs chew toys. Super sweet. But her mouth is very active and she needs toys.
it's so loud. Sorry, I had to skip the facts on the last few dogs. So Valencia has this obsession where she starts barking at her water bowl and then just totally forgets about the rest of the world. So it was very loud. <laughs> oh, goodness. I couldn't even think. So much barking. So here are all the puppies. We're going to come back and see the puppies in just a second. First, we're going to go into dog villas. See what's going on there. Our dog villas have all of our large breed dogs. Usually over 50 pounds. Oh, goodness. That last room was so loud, y'all. Okay, I know you see two empty kennels. They're already actually claimed for dogs that are coming in today. That have already come in. They're just getting their vaccines and everything. So once they get their vaccines and home testing, then they'll be moved in there. Hi, hi. Hi. This is Rooster. Hey, Rooster. Rooster is a five-year-old retriever mix. He is a total goofball. As you can see, he went through heartworm treatment. He did spend a few months in foster care getting treated for heartworm. And he has been described by multiple people as being a total goofball. Hi, he's a happy boy. <laughs> yes, you are. This is Aster. Aster is a five month old retriever mix. Aster, let's see what we can find out about Aster. Social butterfly who is energetic and gets along with dogs. She's cute. Remember, red collars for girls, blue collars for boys. German Shepherd. Let's see if we can get a good angel on Maverick. Maverick. Let's see. He is also an energetic social butterfly, but he doesn't get along with other dogs. He was abandoned outside of our shelter one day. We don't really have too much history on him because he was just abandoned here one day. Um, but from what we can tell, he doesn't seem to like other dogs outside, so... <sighs> Maverick. Who else do we have? Coco! This is Coco. Coco is an eight-month-old cattle dog hound mix. She is cute. Let's see if we can get a good dog on her. Coco's high energy. She gets along with dogs, but does not like cats. Coco! <laughs> and she knows her name. She's cute. This is Gamora. Hey, Gamora's an eight month old shepherd husky mix. Very pretty girl. Gamora does not. Can we welcome Bella, please? Alice, can we welcome Bella? We'll wait for the intercom. Gamora is interesting. She doesn't get along with dogs, but she does get along with cats. <laughs> and Gamora up here. She's a pretty girl. She's silly. And that one. Let's see. This baby not available quite yet. Will hopefully be available soon. But his name is Stitch. Stitch. Let's see. Over here we have Pedro. We just met outside. Back in his kennel, relaxing. This doggy is Fendi. Fendi's a one-year-old husky boxer. Gorgeous eyes. She's been returned three times. A couple times it was not her fault at all. Um, she is very energetic. She doesn't like being left alone. Um, and she's a little jumpy. So maybe no kids under the age of 12. Um, but other than that, she's a great dog. Very great dog. Again, this is Fendi. Super sweet girl. This girl right here is Magnolia. She is a six month old retriever mix. And Magnolia jumps so high that we have to keep her back here in dog villas. Because if we move her into domain, she would jump over the wall and escape. So she can jump at least 
four to five feet high. So if you adopt her, you need to have tall fences. None of the four foot, five foot fencing. She'll get over that. And a heartbeat. This cutie is Nala. Nala's a nine month old retriever cat of Hula. Nala loves attention. Loves attention. She was adopted at another shelter in the next town over, not going to say where. Um, but she was brought here when her owner couldn't care for her anymore. They just didn't have enough time. And the other shelter couldn't take her back because they didn't have space. Just mention that because if you ever adopt a pet from CAP and you have a problem, you can't care for the pet anymore, something happened, we will always take that animal back. Always. So please let us know if you're having any issues. We love our pets. We want everything to work out. But if it doesn't, we're still here for you. We'll take a back. Again, that's Nala. She's cute. I wish she'd look at the camera. She keeps looking at my feet. Oh, goodness. <laughs> this is Astro. Astro, very energetic, playful, gets along with kids over the age of three. Hey, Astro. He's in there. He's cute. And this dog just came in and is still on stray hold. She's about five months old hound pointer. If you recognize this dog or if this is your dog, please let us know. We'd love to reunite you. Um, if her owners don't show up before the end of her stray hold, she will be made available for adoption. Okay, so now we're going to go into our puppy pals. I know that's what you guys have all been waiting for. Everyone always wants to see the puppies. Side note, we have gerbil and we have two really cute, fluffy, nice hamsters that don't bite. Let's see. So we're going to go in Puppy Palace. Okay, so I don't have cool, interesting facts about each puppy because there's so many. There's so many. Puppy breath. Mm. 
And then, <laughs> this is the last puppy. He's on first out of Al today, so technically not available, um, but will, will be available hopefully soon. He's cute. Black lab puppy, handsome, super handsome. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Well, that, that is everyone. Guys. Thank you so much for joining us on our tour. Really appreciate you guys joining us. Remember, we do not need reservation or appointments for adoptions anymore. We are open for walk-ins. If you have any questions, feel free to send us a message, give us a call, and help us on our mission of helping more pets find homes. Thank you guys. Have a great week.